Many people have been failed by the performance of the economy. It's therefore not surprising when they were given the chance to vote for change, they've done so. The question now is for policymakers to decide what we need to do. We're now several months on from the referendum vote. A uh, number of things have been sorted out in terms of trying to understand what the signal that was sent to us from the referendum means. And also the government has now triggered Article 50 and is moving on to start negotiations with the European Union about exit. It's important now for economists to participate in that debate and try to get the best deal possible for the UK as it leaves the European Union. We've got a remarkable amount of data about the areas of the country that voted to remain and the areas that voted leave. And we were able to do some analysis trying to understand why certain people voted in a particular way. People who were older tended to vote leave. People who had lower levels of education attainment in terms of degree certificates um, also tended to vote leave. And areas in which people have had recent high levels of migration also tended to vote leave. In some way or other, those parts of the country that felt that they didn't adapt to the changes brought about by globalization also felt that they wanted to turn away from the European Union. So we can't just deal with the, the median person, the person at the middle. We have to understand the whole distribution. There may be impacts on the relatively poor, the relatively rich, the relatively old, the relatively young, that lead to a complex set of responses to economic issues. I think economists need to come out of our shells more. We need to come out of our ivory towers, we need to come out of our research institutes and build relationships in terms of public understanding with the public about what it is we do. So when big events come on like this, they're more likely to want to listen to the insights that we may have. Policy takeaways are really in terms of dealing with the uncertainty brought about by the trade negotiations and the need to think hard about um, how we help firms plan in the future. These are going to take time to work their way out against a backdrop of a set of arrangements with the European Union that are going to end up with transitional arrangements that are themselves meaning we're not going to resolve this for five to ten years.